After World War II, Coca-Cola's business exploded. But you had a problem. Caffeine. See, at the time, you had been using cola nuts for caffeine. But they grew far away. There weren't enough of them to meet demand. And where the caffeine came from didn't really matter. Caffeine was all the same. So Coca-Cola needed to find a new source of caffeine that was cheaper and more abundant. Enter tea leaves. At the time, the world was going through a tea drinking craze, which meant there were a lot of damaged, broken tea leaves that Westerners didn't want to buy. So they were left rotting in warehouses. And guess what? These tea leaves contained that sweet caffeine. But even leftover tea leaves weren't enough to feed the machine that is Coca-Cola. If Coca-Cola was going to take over the world, you were going to need an even more stable supply of caffeine. So that's when you enlisted the help of a little-known company called Monsanto and ordered them to come up with a synthetic caffeine. If you could create a synthetic caffeine made in a lab, you would have complete control over the supply. No more dealing with pesky cola nut farmers or damaged tea leaves. And Monsanto pulled through. They came back with a caffeine made from the chemicals in coal tar. And in the 40s, in part because of the war, they couldn't get supplies of various things. Once again, we see Coca-Cola turning to Monsanto and saying, hey, Monsanto, we know you've supplied us with caffeine, saccharin, all these things. Can you make synthetic caffeine? And Monsanto does. They figure out a way to make synthetic caffeine from coal tar. Yes, actual coal tar, a byproduct of processed coal. That was what we were going to shove down the throats of the public. And it worked. No one was going to think to ask where the caffeine in their drink came from. As long as it tasted good, no one would bat an eye. Seems logical that their thinking is, wait a minute, consumers are never going to ask where their caffeine comes from. Look at everyone I've ever talked to. No one knows where right. the caffeine comes from, right? And so they do switch to the synthetics. And if you go to their website, it's great. It says, we source our caffeine from tea leaves, so that waste tea leaf story is still part of it, the coffee beans, uh, decaf coffee, and then appropriate sources. The supply problem was solved, and customers didn't know the difference. Successfully creating artificial caffeine was the success Monsanto needed to put them on the map. After that, Monsanto had nowhere to go but up. They went on to create so many things that benefit humanity, like Agent Orange, the poison that was sprayed over Vietnam, destroying the lives of locals and veterans. Then there were PCBs, then herbicides, then genetically modified seeds, then seed licensing, to where today, Monsanto practically owns the entire world's food supply. 